A new mega port on Peru's coastline that's part of China's Belt and Road Initiative will increase the frequency of trips to Asia this month with a direct route to China that cuts sailing time by some 10 days. A quiet stretch of Peruvian coastline, battered by the relentless Pacific Ocean, was just hit by an earthquake. Not a natural one, but a man-made one. Every day for years, engineers set off controlled explosions and dropped blocks weighing several metric tons to compact the ground, shaking the earth for kilometers. They moved millions of cubic meters of sand and rock, enough to fill the Great Pyramid of Giza multiple times over. They did all this to build a port so deep it can swallow the world's largest ships whole and so strong, it's designed to survive a magnitude 8.5 earthquake. But to connect it to the world, they had to solve an even bigger problem. How do you move millions of tons of cargo without destroying the small town that stands in the way? How do they build a port on unstable ground in one of the most seismically active zones on Earth and carve a secret highway right underneath a living city? Just a few years ago, Chan K was a sleepy district 80 kilometers north of Lima, Peru's capital. Its economy was simple, built on local fishing, agriculture, and tourism. But beneath its quiet surface lay a unique feature, naturally deep water, a rare gift on the shallow Pacific coast of South America. A former Peruvian naval officer first saw this potential back in 2008, beginning the slow process of acquiring land. By 2019, however, this local dream went global. The Chinese state-owned shipping giant, Cosco Shipping, acquired a 60% stake, partnering with a local mining company, Volcan. The project was no longer just a new dock. It was set to become a $3.5 billion megaport, a critical link in China's globe-spanning Belt and Road Initiative. The vision was to create a direct bridge between Asia and South America, a true continental gateway. But to build this bridge, engineers would first have to conquer the land, the sea, and the violent earth itself. Their first battle would be against the ocean. To build a calm harbor on one of the world's most powerful coastlines, you first need to build a wall. But not just any wall. The engineers at Chan K constructed a colossal breakwater stretching nearly 2.7 kilometers into the ocean. That's the length of more than 25 football fields laid end to end. This structure's only job is to absorb the crushing energy of long Pacific swells, waves that travel thousands of kilometers just to smash into the coast. To do this, they used a special weapon over 25,700 massive concrete blocks called acropodes. Think of them as giant interlocking puzzle pieces, each weighing around 10.5 metric tons, heavier than two adult elephants. Their complex, multi-legged shape is designed to break apart waves and dissipate their energy, preventing that force from ever reaching the ships inside the port. A total of 113,000 cubic meters of concrete was used for these blocks alone, carefully placed one by one using cranes guided by real-time 3D positioning systems. With the waves tamed, the next challenge was depth. Modern megaships are gargantuan vessels, some stretching 400 meters long and carrying over 18,000 containers. To accommodate them, the port needed to be deep, Dredgers worked around the clock, scooping out the seabed to create a harbor with a minimum depth of 17.8 meters. That's as deep as a six-story building is tall, making Chan K one of the only ports in the region that can welcome fully loaded 24,000 TEU container ships without them scraping the bottom. But all this work, the breakwater, the deep harbor, created an even bigger engineering puzzle. How do you connect this massive port to the Pan American Highway without choking the city of Chan K with thousands of trucks every single day? The answer was to go underground. Engineers embarked on one of the most ambitious parts of the project, digging a 1.8 kilometer tunnel directly underneath the town. This was a multimodal superhighway designed to be the port's invisible artery. 
The challenge was immense. The ground here isn't solid rock. It's a loose mix of sand and gravel, notoriously difficult and dangerous to tunnel through. A single mistake could cause the ground above to collapse, threatening homes and streets. To succeed, they used a technique called the New Austrian Tunneling Method, or NATM. It's a dig and support strategy where you excavate a short section of tunnel and immediately reinforce it with sprayed concrete and steel arches before moving on. This allows the surrounding ground itself to become part of the support structure. For over 400 meters, the tunnel was incredibly shallow, with only 6 to 9 meters of earth separating it from the surface. The engineers had to work with surgical precision, ensuring the ground above sank less than one centimeter. Inside, the tunnel is an engineering marvel. It's 14 meters wide and contains three lanes for trucks, allowing cargo to move freely without ever entering the city. But it also houses two massive conveyor belts for moving grains and other bulk cargo directly from the ships to the logistics park and a series of pipelines for liquid goods. This entire subterranean corridor ensures the port can operate at maximum capacity without causing a single traffic jam in Chan K. Once a container exits that tunnel, it enters a world of automation. The port's operational zone is run by giants. The massive ship to shore, or STS, cranes that line the docks were built by ZPMC, a world leader in port machinery. These cranes stand over 90 meters tall, taller than a 25-story building, with a massive outreach of 72 meters, allowing them to reach across the widest container ships on the planet. But their most impressive feature is that they are operated remotely. From a comfortable control center, a single operator can manage multiple cranes with joystick precision, loading and unloading containers with incredible speed. Once a container is lifted off a ship, it's placed onto a driverless electric truck that silently navigates the yard using advanced sensors and deep learning algorithms. These autonomous vehicles deliver the containers to the automated stacking cranes, which then neatly organize them in the yard. This entire system of remote and autonomous technology is designed to hit a stunning target, 50 container moves per crane per hour. Most efficient ports in the world average around 30. This speed is what will allow Chan K to slash shipping times to Asia. But all of this incredible technology, the breakwater, the tunnel, the robotic cranes, would be worthless if it couldn't survive the region's most terrifying threat. Peru sits directly on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone responsible for about 90% of the world's earthquakes. The entire Chan K port was engineered from the ground up to withstand a catastrophic 8.5 magnitude earthquake and the tsunami that could follow. The greatest danger during a quake here isn't just the shaking, it's liquefaction. This is a terrifying phenomenon where intense shaking turns wet, sandy soil into a substance like quicksand, causing massive structures to sink or collapse. To prevent this, engineers had to strengthen the very ground the port was built on. They used techniques like deep soil mixing and fibroflotation, compacting the loose soil and installing reinforced aggregate piers deep into the earth to create a solid, stable foundation capable of holding up under the most violent shaking imaginable. The massive breakwater, designed to stop waves, also serves as the first line of defense against a tsunami, engineered to absorb and deflect the immense power of a seismic sea wave. The construction of Chan K has been a race against time, a $1.3 billion bet for its first phase that officially paid off in November 2024, when the port was inaugurated for trial operations. But this monumental project hasn't come without a cost. Local fishing communities have protested, claiming the breakwater has altered marine currents and damaged their traditional fishing grounds. Residents have complained of homes being damaged by the constant vibrations from construction, and environmental groups have raised serious concerns about the impact on the nearby Santa Rosa wetland, a vital ecosystem for migratory birds. 
While this port is projected to add $4.5 billion to Peru's economy annually and create over 8,000 jobs, it has also sparked geopolitical tension, with the United States expressing concern over China's control of such a strategic piece of infrastructure in the Americas. As Chan'e ramps up its operations, it stands as a testament to incredible engineering ambition, a concrete and steel giant that has reshaped a coastline and is set to remap global trade. The port of Chan'e is more than just a new harbor. It's a bold statement about the future of global logistics, built with incredible precision and power. If you were fascinated by this impossible build, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the world's most amazing engineering projects. And ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments what mega project you want to see us cover next.